So, uh, a little bit of introduction. My couchsurfing host, uh, they're currently hosting me for a couple of nights in Santiago. She's from Venezuela. Yes. And he's from Chile. Yes. You moved here in... In 2016. I mean, I was not supposed to come here that time, but like, I felt like time was running out, so mm. I had to make a sudden decision. Yeah, yeah, I run away basically. But it was a good decision. Yeah, it's like a right before they changed the regulation. Right? Not exactly, but like things had been changing so fast mm -hmm. every day. So I don't know. I, I guess I just freaked out and thought that maybe they wouldn't let me out if I waited longer. So I just wanted to go. Mm. But I, I actually I always wanted to go. Like it wasn't just the situation. Yeah. And like, since I was a little girl, I wanted to travel. So mm. yeah. Yeah, you said like you you've been speaking English like all all those years, right? Yeah, I started <laughs> watching Friends when I was four years old. <laughs> okay. So that was my school. Yeah, that's yeah. How, how people learn. Yeah. So of course I don't have like the most formal, <laughs> yeah. formal English because no, I, I <laughs> because that is my English, like friends. <laughs> yeah. yeah, finally I'm starting to travel more. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that that was a great opportunity that this country gave me that I didn't have in my country. Mm. Yeah. I mean, you could travel, of course, but the like the exchange of the yeah. currency was crazy, mm. so it was very difficult to get dollars, it was impossible. So of course it was more complicated. Mm. Have you traveled like within the Venezuela? Because uh, that's definitely one of the bucket lists. Uh, actually, it's a uh, final stop for this South American trip. Yeah. And uh, I would love to visit all those places, but for some places, I th I think I read that I needed like a helicopter or something <laughs> to oh, get yeah. up all the way. Well, but no, but that is only one place. Like okay. um, the Salto Angel, and that is like huge waterfall. Yeah. Have you seen the movie Up? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah you know where he basically parks his house. Yeah. That is the Salto Angel. Oh, okay. I never went there. Uh, but I did visit it all the places that I love, like the beaches. Oh, yeah, it's like <laughs> one of the most beautiful beach I've ever yeah, seen in the is, picture. It is insanely blue. And La Gran Sabana, mm -hmm. I think it's part of the Amazon or very close. So it's amazing. Yeah. Yes. Do you guys have desert? Yes, there are Melanos de Godo. Desert with a lot of dunes. Uh -huh. And because there's a lot of wind, like they change mm -hmm. all the time. And when you go there, you take like a big jeep and go there. It's cool. I never went there either because I was more I was raised on the beach. Like oh, yeah. we went to the beach all the time. Yeah. So like you guys basically have everything: desert and beaches yeah. and uh, like an awesome waterfall and a cool forest too. Like yeah. the only thing, it, the, there are not a lot of places with cold weather, but I don't know. It's it's very very cool. Mm. Yeah, the nature is ridiculous. Yeah. <laughs> so that's why it happens to me that some places here are supposed to be amazing, mm -hmm. but like they are so similar to things I've seen there that oh, okay. I can't appreciate them. Nature that you usually travel to see, I had it there. Before like I go this traveling, I, I had never seen desert before. Yeah. So like I finally get to the desert area, even in Peru, and I was like. <laughs> I actually haven't discovered much in Japan. Like there is a rainforest and uh, there is a cedar tree, which I'm allergic to. But um, <laughs> this cedar tree in particular is like older than 2,000 years or something. Mm. And you have to like walk like eight hours to get there mm. to see. It's one of those huge trees or? It's thick. Mm. It seems to be pretty awesome. Do you know what? Like, if it's possible from Venezuela to take the boat and go to like, uh, for example, like Trinidad, Tobago. To go to the Eastern boat. I mean, honestly, right now, I don't know. I mean, you would have to take, but uh, in the past, that was possible. Mm. Oh, yeah. So, so we'll go to like Trinidad, Tobago and... To the north. Yeah, to the north. Yep. So it was like a carved shape, island coffin and get to Jamaica, go back to Mexico because I missed Cancun area. Mm. One of 
the most expensive area, but there are Sanofis. As I have gotten a license, you can watch them. Yeah, why not use it? <laughs> Even if I'm terrified. But maybe, maybe. Maybe. Yeah, but you know, like it's supposed to be very clear water, even if it's in the cave. Oh no, it's not it's gonna be dark. But <laughs> bring the light. Yeah. <laughs> I'll bring the light. <laughs>